The truth is that God did not create this devil in the first place. Because there is a question many a times. Why did God create the devil? And because of this enemy devil, we are in trouble and he keeps troubling us. In fact, the truth is God created him perfect in beauty. God created him in tremendous glory in heaven. Among all the angels, he was at the highest rank of angel. And his assignment was to have praise and worship, exalting God as God is seated on the throne. That is in Ezekiel 28, 12 to 15. So, when you after the after the class you can read that part that he was not created a devil he was created the most handsome the most perfect one in heaven he took care of the throne of God he walked before God he was in charge of the whole praise and worship he was the top ranking angel but he became Satan when ego and pride was found in him. And that pride destroyed him completely and he was cast out of heaven. And when he was cast out, he took one third of the angels along with him who now became demons and evil spirits and he was cast out he was forced out of heaven and cast down into this earth so from that moment on he is an enemy of God but he cannot do or he cannot fight against God or anything against God because he is, he is not a match. God is infinite. He is limited. So, because he cannot fight against God, he is now fighting against God's people. And that is why he is your enemy. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So once you understand this truth that is constantly on duty to ensure that he wants to fight the battle. He wants to see that you lose the battle, that you are tortured, you are tormented, you are defeated. And that's why you look around, you can find situations and circumstances around you that threatens you, that wants to destroy you. Look at the world today. Many, many terrible things are happening. Every time a new disease is being invented and injected into the world by the devil, he wants to destroy the very crown of creation. And what is that crown of creation? Man. Every evil today in the world is the devil's work. God is good all the time and God doesn't tempt anybody with evil. Praise God. Praise God. So remember, this fight can come in any way. It can come 
in your health it can come in your needs it can come in your spiritual growth in your family problem it can come into your academics it can come to your children so there is going to be frustration in fact can come in any of the areas of your life but when these things come against you you must recognize that it's not flesh and blood but it is the devil who is your enemy it is the devil who is shooting the fiery darts at you so remember problems will surely come tribulations will surely come your own fight must come you have to learn to fight your own fight and remember you cannot escape it either you learn or you live like a victim all your life the quicker you learn to fight this battle you learn to fight the battle of faith 